Let's talk about the diabetes medications. I'm gonna go through each class and I'm gonna tell you what this class does. And at the end, I am gonna tell you which one is my absolute favorite class and the one I tend to use with my patients the most often and the reason why I do like this class. Make sure you guys are tuning in. Once again, thank you for joining me. This is Diana Butucci, I'm your host. I'm an endocrine specialist. I treat diabetes all day long and my goal is I wanna help all of you worldwide manage and beat this thing together. Before we do that though, please consider subscribing to my channel if you are new and please share this video and always feel free to comment below and let me know what your thoughts are. I'm gonna go in alphabetical order here. So we'll start with the alpha glucosidase inhibitors, which would be something like your acrobos. What this class does is it slows your body's breakdown of sugars and starchy foods. So if we eat something that's high in sugar, let's say a piece of bread, it will actually slow down how quickly that breaks down. So we don't see such a spike in blood sugar levels after we eat. So this class of medication is not as commonly used anymore because we have newer classes. We still do use it when needed. Number two is our Biquinize, which is probably the most widely used class in diabetes, pre-diabetes, insulin resistance, and we use it for other things as well. This class will include things like Rhinomat, Metformin, Glucophage, whatever you may know it as, but what it does is it actually reduces the amount of glucose your liver makes. So think about it, we know that the liver produces glucose and that's how we can stay alive during the night without needing to eat all night long or we can go on for a couple of days without having food. We know that people have been able to survive and that's because the liver is producing glucose. With diabetes, we know that people are a little too sweet anyways, they don't need this extra release from the liver and what this class does is it tells the liver to take a back seat and slows down some of that release and that's why we see our glucose levels drop when we are taking this class of medication. Number three is gonna be our DPP-4 class. This will include things like linagliptin, Trigenta, Genuvia, Angliza, any of those will be it. I really like this class because it doesn't really cause low blood sugar levels. What it does is it kind of just lowers your glucose levels enough, but it won't lower them too low where you could have something we call hypoglycemia. This class is also safe. We can actually use it in patients who have uh, kidney disease, even late stages and people who are on dialysis as well. So that's why we tend to like this class of medication. Another one is glucagon-like peptides. This one is going to include things like your Ozempic, your Trulicity, Bidurion, Victoza, Fieta, any semaglutide, any of these medications are going to be a glucagon-like peptides, GLP we call them. And what this does is it stimulates your pancreas to produce more insulin and it lowers gastric emptying, which is why we see some weight loss with this class of medications. It is absolutely a preferred class for sure because not only does it help lower glucose levels, but we're also seeing some weight loss and we know that weight loss is becoming a pandemic. I mean, we're all struggling with overweight or obesity. I think more than 70% of the population here in the United States is either, either overweight or obese. For that reason, this class of medication helps solve some of that issue that we're facing in the world today. Another one is going to be your maglinotides. This one will be things like repaglinide and it stimulates your pancreas to release more insulin. We'll use this class of medication sometimes before meals because it helps, it tells the pancreas make more insulin. So we tend to see lower blood sugar levels after you eat because it literally punches on the pancreas and says make more insulin as you're eating when you take it before your meal. And that way we tend to see a little bit of a drop. I don't use this class of medications very much. It's not a very smart or preferred medication that I like to use because the risk of low blood sugars is very great and of course, the number one thing we're always trying to avoid is a low blood sugar. We know how dangerous a low blood sugar levels can be. For that reason, we try to be very cautious, but it is a medication that I do use sometimes if I really have to and I'm out of options. Another one is SGLT2 inhibitors. This will be like your Jardians, your Farsiga, your Stiglatro, and what it does is it releases more glucose into the urine, so we literally are urinating or peeing out more sugar. Um, that's why sometimes the urine can be a little bit foamy or have a sweet smell to it. 
This class of medication is great because it not only helps lower glucose levels, it can actually help lower blood pressure levels as well, and it helps protect the kidneys and the heart. So this class is absolutely great. And of course, we know that um, mo mostly all diabetics do struggle with having high blood pressure as well. So now we can lower blood pressure and lower blood sugar levels all in the same time. Sulfonylureas is another class. This would be things like your glipizide, your glimipiride, gliburide, amaryl, any of those names that you may know. It stimulates your pancreas to release more insulin. Try not to use this class unless I really have to. This is similar to the maglutonide. It kind of just tells the pancreas to release more insulin, but it's not really specific and it can release more insulin at any given time. So therefore your sugar can be low and it can actually tell the pancreas to release more insulin. Now your sugar can go even lower. The last one is thioglitazones. This would be things like lactose, pioglitazone, whichever way you may know it. And it helps insulin work better. So it helps reduce insulin resistance. I do like this class actually quite a bit. I try to use this class if I have to use it. I prefer this versus other classes. I don't like that it can cause some ankle swelling and it can cause some weight gain. For that reason, I don't really use this class as much. So um, these are all the diabetes classes that we have. I did not include insulin in this case. I only included the oral agents, but I do have videos on insulin, so feel free to check those out. And as I promised, my favorite and my absolute favorite classes is going to be our SGLT2 inhibitor class your Jardians or Farsiga. It's an oral tablet once a day. Not only helps lower glucose levels, as I mentioned, but helps lower blood pressure, protects the kidneys and protects the heart. All the things that we want in any medication. And my second favorite is going to be the GLP class, your Ozempic, your Trulicity, Viata by Durian, which we don't use as much. We use Ozempic usually and Trulicity. And I love this class because we tend to see the A1C drop. We tend to see better glucose levels and we tend to see weight loss. There is some heart benefit with those Zampic and Trulicity as well. For that reason, these two classes are my absolute favorite. Please comment below and let me know your thoughts and let me know what you're presently taking. I'll see you all on the next video.